briefly to the Word of God, we call your attention to the book of Lamentation. Lamentation 2 and 10 through verses 13. The elders of the daughter of Zion sit upon the ground and keep silent. They have cast up dust upon their heads. They have girded themselves with sackcloth. The virgins of Jerusalem hang down their heads to the ground. My eyes do fail with tears. My bowels are troubled. My liver is poured out upon the ground for the destruction of the daughter of my people. Because the children and the suckling soon in the streets of the city. They say to their mothers, where is corn and wine? When they soon as the wounded in the street of the city. When their soul was pulled out into their mother's bosom. What thing shall I take to witness for thee? Or what thing shall I liken to thee, O daughter of Jerusalem? Praise God. And also we'd like to call your attention, praise God, to the book of Psalms 137. By the rivers of Babylon I sat down. Yea, I wept when I remembered Zion. My thought today comes out of the 10th chapter of Lamentation 2. My thought today is Zion, what's the matter? Zion, what's the matter? Here we find, praise God, in the book of the Lamentations, that it said the elders of da uh, the elders and the daughters of Zion sit on the ground and keep silence. Hallelujah, we are living in a day and time that Zion is in trouble. And when I say Zion, I mean the church world today. The church world is in trouble. You might, praise God, not think it is. Because we're living in a time of apostasy, praise God, when the eyes of people are blinded today. But I want you to know today that Zion is in trouble. Hallelujah. It's sad and that the elders is keeping silence. We're living in a day and time that, praise God, in the church world that people is turning their head away from what they see. Hallelujah, their sin is on the rampage. Hallelujah, sin, praise God, is taking over the church world. The church world has gotten churchy and the world have gotten churchy and the church have gotten worldly. You may not like what I'm preaching today, but as I was seeking the Lord last night, God told me to ask Zion, what's the matter? <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, praise God, we are living in a day and time that, glory to God, so many people have said, I, I want the church to come up, say they was in darkness and they were back in the time of ignorance. Hallelujah, said when they was living like they was living and doing all the things that they was doing for God, said they was in the time of ignorance. But I want you to know this morning if ignorance make me live holy, if ignorance bring me out of my sins, hallelujah, if ignorance make me live a sin-free life, if ignorance make me dress right, if ignorance make me talk right, then let me stay ignorant. Hallelujah. I want to ask Zion this morning. What's the matter with you, Zion? What's the matter? Hallelujah. You said I know how to do things much better now. Hallelujah. We are living in a day and time. Hallelujah. That people is calling right wrong and calling wrong right. We are living in a day and time that the ministers, hallelujah, the Pentecostal minister is fighting one another. Let's go all these other ministers. Hallelujah. It's a war on in the land today. Something is the matter with Zion. The Bible said the whole head is sick. Hallelujah. And the Bible said Zion has prevailed, has travailed, and there's not enough strength to bring forth. We're living in a day and time that people wonder what's the matter. How come I can't go straight? How come I can't live right? How come I can't live holy? It's because you're sick. Sin has crept over into Zion. Zion, what's the matter now? You got everything you need to do a good job for God. You got everything you need to get the gospel out. But Zion, why Zion, what's the matter now? What's your excuse now? God has blessed you. Give 
have your beautiful elephants. Hallelujah. Church buses. Everything you need. Give you the word of God. Tell you to preach it like it is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But minister this morning is failing to tell it like it is. But I said tell it like it is. If you can't tell it like it is, just leave it alone. Don't tell it alone. Hallelujah. You're messing up people. Messing up the mind of people. Messing up the soul of people. But Zion, Zion, I want to ask you this morning, what's the matter? What's the matter? There's a form of godliness. But people are denying the power thereof. Fifteen years ago. Hallelujah. You could go to a hall in this church. And the people that had makeup on in the church was just visitors. But I want you to know today, you can walk in some of them same holy churches. And over half of the members got makeup on. Zion! What's the matter now? What's the matter now? Hallelujah! You said what it used to take. It don't take no more. Hallelujah! Mascara you have entered into the church. I didn't say mascara. I know the name, but it's mascara you. Women of God looking like clowns. Hallelujah. But God, I said God, he remembers you. He remember what you used to be. He remember how you used to dress. But what's the matter now? I said, what's the matter now? I tell you what's the matter. Sin have creeped in and blinded your eyes. You said Jezebel look all right now. She used to look bad to you 20 years ago. But she look all right now. Zion, what's the matter? It's time to get back to the basics of living holy. Oh, yes it is. Hallelujah. Pride have entered into the church world today. Hallelujah. You used to go to a hall in this church. You didn't see no earrings. You didn't see no necklaces. Hallelujah. But you go in there now. Necklace down to the waistline. Earring hanging on the shoulder. Hallelujah. And don't mention the eye shadow. Hallelujah. Something has happened. The shadow has come over you. Something has happened to you. I said, Zion. Oh, Zion. What's the matter now? Hallelujah. The Bible said, Woe unto them that are at ease in Zion. Somebody done got at ease. Hallelujah. Because your wife went away. You say it's all right. Because your wife went away. Somebody's copping off of the TV. Copping off of the women's on TV. That's supposed to be women of God. But God is sitting high. And he's looking low. He done began to kind of curl them out now. I said he done began to kind of curl them out. He reached up and got the big fish. Why, yes he did. I'm talking about Zion. What's the matter now? What's the matter now? You see, I don't want to copy off of nobody. But just let me copy off of Jesus. Let me copy off of the word. Hallelujah. All your power is gone. All your spirit is gone. What's the matter with your sound? You don't sing like you used to sing. You sing in contemporary now. Hallelujah. Halfway right and halfway wrong. Hallelujah. You don't pray like you used to pray. He said, call for the cunning women. Those are praying women. But now we see the cunning women sitting in the salons, getting their fingernails polished. Hallelujah. No more time to pray. Happening up in some of the big departments.
cutting its door, saying, I want to get my face made up. Coming out on the streets and, oh, they put too much makeup on me, but that's what you intended for them to do. What's the matter with you, son? What's the matter now? What's the matter now? The word of God said, cry out, spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet in Zion. That's what I'm doing this morning. I'm lifting up my voice like a trumpet in Zion. He said, show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sin. I'm putting my spangle on your sin this morning. What's the matter with you, Zion? What's the matter? What's the matter now? Hallelujah. If Dad Mason could have suddenly resurrected Billy Sunday, Martin Luther, Peter, Paul, if they could come back and look at some of the churches they left and went to heaven out of, oh, their hearts would be broken. They couldn't believe it. They wouldn't believe it. Hallelujah. But something has happened here. Something has happened to Zion. Zion got slack. Quit reading the word. Quit talking to God. Hallelujah. If you don't live it, you're not going to die. A lot of folks are saying, I'm on my way to heaven. And I'm so glad. But I want you to know today, if you don't change, you are on your way to hell. And it's so sad. What's the matter with your Zion? Hallelujah. I'm talking to Zion this morning. God says it's going to be a famine in the land. Not for bread. Not for water. But for the hearing of the word of God. And I want you to know it's a famine today. He didn't say the gospel wasn't going to be preached. Oh, but it's going to be a famine for the hearing. The Bible said in the last days that many shall turn their ears away from the truth and give heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devil. Hallelujah. Many shall turn their ears away. And I want you to know today you're sick, Zion, and you need a healing. Is there no bomb in Gilead? Oh, to heal a sin sick soul. Hallelujah. Can't you come to yourself? Take a good look at yourself. Take a good look at what you used to be. And hallelujah, measure it by what you are now. Oh, hallelujah. Do you love God like you used to love him? Hallelujah. Do you talk to him like you used to talk to him? Zion, what's the matter now? Have you got so busy, hallelujah, that you've forgotten to take care of your soul? What's the matter? What's the matter? I don't care what Reverend Doolittle said. And I don't care what Reverend No C said. Oh, but I want you to know it's what God said. You got to live by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord. David said, I sat down by the river. Oh, he said, I began to weep when I remembered Zion. Somebody said that David said, sing us one of those old desiring songs. Oh, but David looking at the condition and Babylon was carried away into captivity. He said, how can I sing the Lord's praises in a strange land? The land that you're in can become strange even though you're sitting in it. How can I sing the Lord's praises in a strange land? Zion? What's the matter? What's the matter? Hallelujah. Why have you let the wrong spirit take over? The devil will try to dominate. He's looking to snatch every soul out of the true church. But it's a time, glory to God, to lift up a standard for the Lord. Hallelujah. In a dark and in a sin cursed world. Hallelujah. Why they're pulling at the Christians and pulling at the saints of God on every hand. Oh, but it's a time to stand up and stand tall and say, I'm one of them today. 
I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God under salvation to them that believe. Zion! What's the matter now? What's the matter? Hallelujah. You don't have the zeal and you don't have the zest that you used to have. You don't have what you used to have. Why did you lose your interest? What's the matter now? Somebody said, if I just had a car to go to church, well, God gave it to you. But you don't have go no more. What's the matter now? What's the matter now? Somebody said, I don't have a, church, a way to church. Hallelujah. And church buses sitting on lots all over the city in Dallas. What's the matter now? Something is the matter. You lost out somewhere. Somewhere down the line. You lost out. David said, Lord, revive us again. That thy people may rejoice in thee. That I may serve God, David said, and be glad about it.